What is up, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video, and in this one, I'm going to be giving my final thoughts on Tom Brady. Is he going to return to the Patriots? Is he not going to return to the Patriots? Putting everything to rest until a final decision is made. Of course, no matter what happens, the media is always going to turn things the other way, despite what Tom Brady says, what other players say, close to him, not close to him. The media just has a funny way of doing that, and Tom Brady is, of course, the biggest topic here for the New England Patriots, and a lot of people are going to continue to make content relative to that, because right now, that's just what people want to hear. So, until Tom Brady decides to move on to another team, unless Tom Brady decides to sign with the New England Patriots, or something very substantial happens, this will be my final video here on Tom Brady. I think that there's a lot more that we need to focus on for this offseason. There's a lot of questions that the Patriots have. There's a lot of exciting things to be talking about. And right now, way too many people are focused the entire offseason on Tom Brady. So for those of you who are a little bit confused, I've made multiple videos relating Tom Brady. Some have gotten good feedback, some have gotten not so good feedback. What I've learned is that a lot of people are scared, okay? That is where a lot of backlash is coming to a lot of Patriots content creators, to people reporting for the, the Patriots or, or anything like that. Even Gronk today, when Gronk said that Brady should go wherever Brady wants to go, whether that's the Patriots or not, a lot of people were giving him backlash because they were mad that he didn't say, no, Brady needs to come back to the Patriots. He has to be there. In the end, Tom Brady is going to do whatever Tom Brady has to do. And as fans, we have to 120% respect that. What Tom Brady has done for the Patriots since 2001 has been nothing short of outstanding. And of course, no one wants that to come to an end. Don't get me wrong, I completely 100% understand that. But we can't be greedy. Brady is getting older. Brady only has a certain amount of time here within the NFL. And his kids are getting older. Okay, you don't want to miss on the opportunity to see your kids grow up because that's something Brady will never be able to get back. And is football his world? Yes, but I guarantee you that his kids and his family are more his world than football is. Now, Tom Brady already confirmed that he wants to play football. He isn't done. Now, how long he's going to continue to play for, that's still up in the air. But as for next season, Tom Brady is still going to play. The question is just going to be where, okay? We've heard... A lot of people relating back to the Chargers. They've been a big team. The Chargers aren't looking to re-sign Phillip Rivers, so obviously they will be looking for a new quarterback. Some people have thrown around the Raiders as another team. And of course, what does that mean for the Patriots? Well, that means if they don't re-sign Tom, Bra re Tom Brady, that they have to go and they have to look somewhere else for their starting quarterback. Now, there have been several rumors going around all over the, the media, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, um, just newsfeed all over Google and all that. It's a fun stuff. Safari about how the trade for Andy Dawn to the Patriots has a lot of legs to it. Okay, and this of course is something that I've reported on. This of course is something that I've talked about, and a lot of you have gotten super upset, have trashed me, have trashed the channel. Um, obviously because that goes back to the fact that no one wants to believe that Tom Brady is gone, okay? I could tell you that the Patriots would be interested in Phillip Rivers, and you would still be upset. Now, in the end, I'm just a guy that makes content, reports the news here for the New England Patriots, so don't shoot the messenger. I don't think that Andy Dalton is the move. I more so believe that if Bill Belichick wants him that bad that... They should not trade for him. He has way too much cap to his name, um, especially for Andy Dalton, who hasn't done too much. He doesn't deserve the money that he's making. The Bengals are going to release him when they uh, draft Joe Burrow in the first round with the first pick of the draft. So he's definitely going to get released. So if you want him that bad, just wait till he gets released. I, of course, think that there is some way better valuable options than Andy Dalton. But in the end, I report the news, not make the decisions. It also was reported that Tom Brady will be meeting with teams this offseason. That he'll test the open market. 
Now, despite all of this, I don't see how Tom Brady does not come back in a New England Patriots uniform. He said he doesn't want to retire, so ultimately that has to mean he's coming back to the Patriots, right? Brady has always been one of those guys who just wants to retire as a Patriot. You know, he's kind of one of those Matthew Slater-type Patriots. I believe Brady's even said it before that he wants to retire as a Patriot, and now we're at a position where we're asking, is that going to happen or not? Tom Brady has way too much history here, okay? This is where his career started. This is where Tom Brady became Tom Brady. The best draft pick that has ever happened. A late round draft pick at that. I don't see how Tom Brady picks everything up. His family, himself, everyone. And moves to a totally different place that isn't Massachusetts, Boston. Not to mention the fact that if you're Tom Brady, you have to go to an entirely new system. You have to learn new receivers, all new players, a whole new coaching staff, a new head coach, a whole new set of of playbook. And then at that, you're also asking the question, well, Tom Brady, if he was to leave the Patriots, would be because he wants big money. What team? that is a contender would honestly go out and spend the money on Tom Brady. I could see one of these lower tier teams, but I don't see a top tier team that is a contender going out and looking to sign an aging Tom Brady quarterback. Now, if this was a few years ago and and Tom Brady was younger, then totally, 100%. But we're at the point where Tom Brady is uncharted territory. No one knows what's going to happen. Not even him. Robert Kraft has even said it himself. When someone screamed, yo, what's going to happen with Tom Brady? Before getting in his car, Robert Kraft said that their main priority is going to be to get Tom Brady back. And I fully believe it. I could see the situation definitely turning out to be a way that Hightower was a couple years ago. You know, he, he met with the Jets. All these birthday cupcakes and and whatnot. And ultimately, he was just tugging on the Patriots a little bit. He knew that he wanted to be a Patriot this entire time. He wanted to be resigned by the Patriots. But a little way to show them, you know, what his value is. A little bit more to get some extra, you know, money in his pocket there. But that is my final verdict on Tom Brady, guys. I don't see him going anywhere else. I mean, new decade, maybe a new Tom Brady But let me tell you, things would definitely be a whole lot weirder, especially for the fact that everything we know about Tom Brady would automatically switch within an offseason. But that's going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on Tom Brady? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not already for Patriots content. But other than that, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. (laughs) 